Should a suburban road commissioner pay a chunk of his salary back to taxpayers? Yes, says the Better Government Association, and that's not all. In this original report, two investigator Pam Zeckman has more on the road commissioner who spends most of his time in Florida. The person in charge has to be on site looking at these roads to make sure that people are taking care of business, fixing potholes, making repairs, removing snow. You can't phone it in from Florida. But that's apparently what Oswego Road Commissioner Gary Groskopf did, according to records obtained by community activist Todd Milliron. I think it's not right and um, it's an abuse of taxpayer money. As we disclosed last night, Groskopf's cell phone records show that from the end of April last year through June this year, there were 321 days of calls made from Florida, including in December, January, and February, when there were some massive snowstorms. Does this story represent lack of supervision? This is what happens when no one is watching. How can the supervisor allow this for the better part of a year without making a fuss? He's talking about Oswego Township Supervisor James Detzler, who told us last week that as an elected official, Groskopf... He's basically his own boss. You know, he can do kind of what he wants to do. But he's managing from Florida and collecting a full-time job salary in Illinois. Some would say he's a ghost payroller, is he? Well, Pam, I don't think so, no. I mean, he comes and goes constantly. But today, Detzler said he talked with Groskopf, and Groskopf conceded he may have spent too much time in Florida, where last November he married his former secretary and was remodeling a house they bought in Port Charlotte. This underscores an argument we've been making at the BGA for years that townships are, for all intents and purposes, worthless units of government. The snow removal, the highway management could be done by Kendall County. And that's not Florida. all. This is a ripoff of taxpayers. It's an insult. The people of Kendall County ought to send him a bill for his salary and demand repayment. Pam Zeckman, CBS2 Investigators. Groskopf has not returned Pam's phone calls. Two township trustees say they only review the amount owed on township cell phones and have never looked at the calls made.